Hello. Mike here. Back with the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. We have moved on to issue 12. And I'm going to start stage 39, which looks like it's the glove, glove box. And it goes on this panel that had uh, the brake on it. Yay. Um, but, so I got all the brake built. But then I couldn't stand to look at the brand new looking brake. So I weathered it. And I took a picture of my brake pedal on my work truck. And that's kind of what it looked like. So that's what I did. And that was kind of kind of hard but it's funny this it's it's got a real rubber texture i put uh some rubber sealant on it anyway you can check that out on instagram there's a couple of pictures of that process but today we're installing the glove box but um and that's still drying a little bit so i wasn't gonna put the i wasn't gonna put the brake back on yet so in the meantime let us get these parts out. It looks like we've got two compartments. And we'll just go like this. Oh, what's that? The radio, or is that no? It's probably uh, heat, maybe air. And there's two of them. One of them's heat, one of them's air, one of them's radio. Fascinating. Huh. Okay. So, looks like this piece. The glove box itself yay i'm not sure how much weathering i'm gonna do on the inside i might do a couple of passes of just dirtying it up after it's all put together but i'm not sure oh i probably have to go in from the other side oh i probably have to go in from the other side There we go. Yeah, so look at that. Close, open. That's awesome. And looks like this guy and BP screws. All right, which ones are my BPs? There we are. And remember, P means plastic. So, also, BPs need the smaller screwdriver. There we go. Whoa. I didn't have that lined up at all. Hope everyone's staying warm and dry. It is crazy wet here in Portland, Oregon. I uh, work outside from my day job. Say, so what? He's got a day job? Yep. 
So I am all kinds of damp. When you start getting cold, it soaks right in. Okay, and there we go. BP. Put the extra BP screw right there. That's neat. I'm gonna have to find what a Miller Meteor user manual look like and see if I can't make a scale version of one and put it in there. Okay. So now we got control panels. Man, I really wish these were lit up. I might come back by and drill little holes in here and put lights in them. Well, this looks like it might be. Yeah, it's got to be air and stuff like that. They both look like they're exactly the same. Holes are all exactly the same. One of them is 39E and one of them is 39F. Which one is which? Boy, they both look the same. Let's see if they fit differently. I see this one has an R for right. Blimey. Uh, let's see. Push firmly but carefully into the oblong recesses of the left side. I guess we can do the left side first. Left. There we go. It doesn't feel like it's going to pop out. But I might hit it with a dab of glue on the back side i don't know it feels like it's gonna oh there it goes it feels like it's gonna stay put and then got the underside of the steering column oh, look at you like it was meant to be. And I want IP screws for this one. Just two.
So as soon as I get all this put together and I know what kind of light I'm talking about, I might put a light up in here or in here and drill a hole down into it just so that it gets some light shining down on the subject. I don't know how realistic that would be. But it might make it look might make it look a little cooler. Well, that's, that's not lined up at all. You just have to you just have to do it. I get, you get so spoiled with these guys because they have lineup posts. So can I get you down in there? Yeah, there we go. Okay, remember IP, so P means plastic, so you're going to go nice and easy. They all have like a hard stop, but sometimes it's hard to figure out where that hard stop is. And the last thing you want to do is strip it. There we go. Most important thing is just to verify if there's any little wiggle. But now that looks nice. Now what? Now I need two more IP screws and we're going to put that on the underside. Rottler. Two more IP screws. Oh. They didn't send an extra for this one. I have to be careful. Although I think I've got a whole bunch extra already. Oh no, they did. There's three. Yeah, so you can see there's not much clearance. Not much clearance there for a light. I figured the, the, the panels on the steering would be lit up. We'll see. So once again, anytime there's more than one screw, you want to get both of them in, or, you know, I don't care if there's 20 screws, you want to get them all started before you seat them down. And then in a situation where if you have like 20 of them, you kind of want to go on a, a rotation, just like they would do your car tire, or like your, your lug nuts on your car. Otherwise, you can have things bending and stripping and crooked. Okay. That's it for 39. That doesn't look bad. Okay, should we move on? Ooh, now we're getting serious. Let's put that to the side. We're going with stage 40. Hi, and welcome to stage 40. It's nice to see you. I need to put that in my 
screws. We're continuing with our dashboard thing. Working on the interior. If you just joined us, this is the Eagle Moss Hero Collector Ecto-1. I feel like I need to say that more often. I'm not... I am not being very professional. Mostly because I'm not very professional. So we got a gas gauge, a speedometer, odometer, turn signal. Okay. Fancy, fancy. Again, I'm not really sure what kind of weathering I'm going to do on this, but I might just hit it with some dirt. The other thing I might do is just leave it out and let it collect dust. And then hit it with some hairspray so it stays put. I don't know. Okay, so how do I know which one's A and which one's C and which one's B? This one's either B or C. Okay, dokey, that one is C. Which makes this one B, which is the first one that I want. Okay, so it looks like they're going in with EP screws. I want to make sure that they're straight up and down. Oh, there is a key. It's notched, so it can only go in one way. Isn't that special? Um, EP. Okay, so before we get ahead of ourselves, that screw, I believe, was IP. Was. There we go. IP and EP, and we need two of them, so we'll put one away. Well, I can feel it trying to turn. I'm glad that's keyed because I wouldn't have been able to keep it straight. Okay, and there's no reason for that sucker to be too tight. So, this looks like either a temperature gauge or tachometer. Right, temperature, maybe fuel. And now we're back to our regularly scheduled program. sure that the key gets in this one right no it's 
Is that right? Yep, that's right. Hmm? It doesn't. The other one, the other one goes in and feels recessed. This one does not. Let's try it again. Well, it feels right, but when I get the screw in there, it'll crank it over. There we go. I think it was pretty close. Once again, I don't need that to be super tight. Yay. All right, we don't need this here. And moving right along. So that stuff here simply pushed into place. I don't know about that. Something tells me I might want a piece of glue. Yeah, I don't know, I might hit that with a tad bit of glue. The Hydromatic Quadrant. That's the sucker. Also, no screws. Not sure about that either. Boy, these require some tiny fingers. I might have to get the uh, tweezers out. I think I'm gonna. My goodness, it fell out again. I know this is riveting, huh? Hmm. Yep, I hit the right angle. Jeez, there we go. Oh, 
I, I might hit that with some glue too. Yeah, we're gonna. And I'm gonna put the teensy fire on it. But I don't need all this. Just the tiniest little dab right there, right there, and right there. So keep it honest, but honestly, if I wanted to pop them off, I don't think that's really enough that would hold it if I really got forceful with it. Beautiful, and that's what that one's looked like. That's stage 40. All right, and that's a good stopping point for now. Thanks very much for watching. And to all, a good night. Super tight. Yay. All right, we don't need this here. And moving right along. So that sucker simply pushed into place. I don't know about that. Something tells me I might want a piece of glue. Yeah. I don't know. I might hit that with a tad bit of glue. The hydromatic quadrant. That's this sucker. Also, no screws. Not sure about that either. Boy, these require some tiny fingers. I might have to get the uh, tweezers out. I think I'm gonna. My goodness, it fell out again. I know this is riveting, huh? Hmm. 
Yep, I hit the right angle. Jeez, there we go. I I might hit that with some glue too. Yeah, we're gonna, and I'm gonna put the teensy fire on it. But I don't need all this. Just the tiniest little dab right there, right there, and right there. So keep it honest, but honestly, if I wanted to pop them off, I don't think that's really enough that would hold it if I really got forceful with it. Beautiful, and that's what that one's looked like. That's stage 40. All right, and that's a good stopping point for now. Thanks very much for watching. And to all, a good night.